Hello, my darling Cocoa Puffs. It's your girlfriend, Cocoa Peru, coming to you again from my backyard here in Los Angeles, California. As you can see, my watermelon never made it back into the house. I just, like, honestly, I forgot it was out here. And I woke up this morning, looked at it, and said, oh, I left my watermelon out overnight. She did all right, though. She did all right. Anyway, um... You know, today it just, it was such a weird moment. I, um, for those of you that know me, I go to Spain every summer. And obviously that's not going to happen this summer. And I am disappointed, but I'm trying to keep things in perspective, you know, and um, count my blessings. And then I read that uh, the Hollywood Bowl here in Los Angeles canceled its whole summer season. And I don't even really ever get to go to the Hollywood Bowl. I mean, I have been, but I rarely get to go because I'm usually out of town during this summer season. So even, but even though I didn't get to go, I tell you, just reading that made me so sad. I, I, I realized it, it just hit me in a certain way, and it made me very, um, very blah today. Anyway, that's why I dug this out. My. Barry Manilow, look at a big fat book of all Barry Manilow music. Now, let me just explain a little something. I still have all of my Barry Manilow albums. They're in Florida at my mother's house, uh, tucked away safely. I could not bear to get rid of them when I was getting rid of all of my old albums. The Barry ones I kept. I grew up obsessed and in love with Barry Manilow. In fact, Barry Manilow was my first concert. My older sister Susan and her husband Ron took me to see Barry Manilow out in Queens somewhere. And at, at the tennis stadium, I forget what it's called, but uh, we went to see Barry. My fr I was so, oh my God, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was so fabulous. But I do remember at one point he had a chorus of children on stage with him and I was so hideously jealous. I could not accept that there were other kids up there in a Barry Manilow concert, and I was not one of them. I mean, kids, the bitterness started early. It may have even started at that Barry Manilow concert. Anyway, I just love Barry to this day. And um, I even did a show. The reason why I own this, this book is because um, I did a show years ago uh, of course, it was all autobiographical, but all of the music was Barry Manilow music. And at the very end, I do a monologue that explains, sort of explains why it's all Barry Manilow music. And um, and his songs are just so great. I mean, nobody does a key change like Barry. I mean, and you know, back when I worked in the cabaret clubs in New York City, you would applaud every time you heard a key change. Well, I even taught it to my husband. Every time we hear a key change, we applaud. And now, if you listen to a Barry Manilow uh, album, whatnot, you're just applauding constantly because he's the king of key changes. I absolutely love him. And, and look at that nose. Oh, come on. You know, these people that get nose jobs, I don't understand it. Anyway, I am... Um, that no to this day, I love a I love I love a good nose like that. Oh yeah. Um anyway, um so a few years ago, Barry had a show out here. Um uh, it was his it was like a, a musical called Harmony. And um we I was invited to see it by a fr can you believe the friggin' helicopters? I mean I, I just Maybe it's just, I only notice it when I film, but it just seems like when I sit down to make a little cocoa thought while in solitude, it's like they know I'm out here. Anyway, I'm so sorry, Barry. Oh, by the way, that's the way I love to say Barry's name, Barry. Oh, Barry. Like we've been through so much together. Like we're all friends, Barry. Anyway, um, a friend of mine, who was in Girls Will Be Girls. He played the younger version of Dr. Perfect. My friend Chad Lindsay was cast as a Nazi in, um, in uh, the musical Harmony. And he invited me, and I, I went with my friend Robert. 
And after we, we had a great time, loved the musical. And afterwards, we were um, invited to the cast party. It was like a big party in, in some space, you know, hors d'oeuvres filled my face. And um, as I'm leaving, I turn to my left, and who was standing there talking to this woman but Barry? And uh, I stopped dead in my tracks. And I wanted to go over and say hello, but I wasn't dressed as Coco and I just didn't feel fabulous. And I thought he's going to, I'm going to start gushing and ends up looking like a fool. And I could tell he wasn't terribly interested in what this woman he was talking to had to say. But still, I, I, I thought maybe he'd think I was rescuing him if I went over. But anyway, all this went through my mind in like literally a second. And I called out across the room with my Bronx accent. Barry! And he looks over at me and I went, thank you! And then I turned to walk away and I thought, no, that I didn't get it all. I didn't, that wasn't right. And I turned back around and I did it again. I went, Barry! And he looks up and I screamed, thank you for everything! And I thought, that felt good. And I walked out. He probably thought, who was that insane queen screaming at me? Why didn't he just come over and say hello? No, I couldn't. But anyway, I'm telling you kids, someday I will meet Barry Manilow. And this book filled with these classics at the Copa. Uh, I write the songs, look like we made it. I'm ready to take a chance. I mean, I know them all. I know them all. Uh, Someday... This cover right here will be signed to Coco Peru. Love. Barry. 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 All right, my darlings. Oh, it just it just brings back so many good memories. That first concert and you know, uh, you know, screaming out Barry and I even went to see Ellen uh the TV show cuz my friend knew Barry Manilow was going to be on it and he surprised me. I got to see Barry up close uh, in, in the studio audience. Oh, sure. But I've never met him. And one of these days, I'm going to meet Barry. And and you'll see. I'll, I will make another video with this book signed. I might be, you know, 70 years old, but it's going to get signed. All right, my darlings. Now, see, I feel a little bit better. See, that's what Barry does. He just makes it better. You know what I mean? Because you know what? He wrote the songs. He writes the songs that make the whole world sing. All right. All right. Well, that's just my little thing. And you can tell how much I love Barry. <laughs>